hello welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on my video out of all the other videos you could have clicked on you chose mine and i appreciate it so much however i would appreciate you more if you subscribed so go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me thank you i feel so cringy saying that but i kind of feel like i have to so welcome back to my porch swing you know what that means it's another yard sale haul and this first lot of jewelry came from a one yard sale and I paid $2 for it. They were selling this in um, little lots, little baggy lots, a uh, dollar per bag and I bought two of them. So the first thing, so this is a really cute boho style type necklace. As you can see, it's missing a cabochon right here. And then this little dangly part is actually put on backwards. I think it just fell off and somebody quickly put it back on. And then there is also a missing stone up here in the corner. I was not, I didn't know that there was anything wrong with this necklace, but it's not the reason why I bought the bag anyways. I consider maybe doing something with it, maybe fixing it up and reselling it, but it's probably just gonna go in the garbage. Next up, we have this really pretty dream catcher necklace. I'm guessing this is a turquoise chip or maybe halite. Ignore my nails, they're obviously hideous, but and it has just one little feather on it. I thought it was cute. Um, I might keep this. I'm not really much of a dream catcher person. I know my sister is, but I'm not sure if she would wear this. So I, I'm going to hang on to this. Maybe my mom wants it. Maybe I'll give it to my sister. Maybe I'll try to sell it. Who knows? I cannot get this chain to detangle. So I'm just going to show you the pendant. It's this cute little pearl. Probably fake. Um, the bail on this makes me think that this might be a vintage piece. But the chain is definitely modern and there's no um, silver marking on it. I'll have to check it with a magnet to see if it's magnetic or not. But I think it's just a little novelty necklace. A little bit of fashion jewelry. I don't think it's anything vintage. This pendant came on a cord with some beads and I thought it was ugly. So I got rid of the cord and I got rid of the beads and I put it on this chain here. Just the silver tone chain. And it's, I think it's hematite or it's trying to be hematite, but you see there's these little imperfections in here. So I'm not really sure what this is. I'll try to sell it at a yard sale if I ever actually have one this year. I'm so lazy, I really don't want to do a yard sale. This necklace is really pretty. I think it's just fashion jewelry. I don't think it's worth anything. It's got this red colored stone, possibly plastic. I think it's plastic, but this is really pretty, and I'm going to try to resell this because it is pretty. There's no markings on it at all, so I don't think it's silver, but I'm sure somebody would really like it. I am not a cross necklace type person. Um, I do have some, but it's not my style. Here is another cross necklace, and this one is really dainty. There is some markings on this one. It's really, really hard to figure out what it says. This uh, thing here has some markings on it. There's no way this camera is going to be able to focus on that. But on the back it says, I think, 120th of something gold filled. I'm going to have to look that up. I think it's, um, yeah, 120th. Fourteen carat of something. I'll have to look back when I'm editing this to figure out what that says. But this is a really sweet necklace. I could probably get a couple of dollars out of it. And here we have this hematite necklace. Or possibly faux hematite. It's hard to say. But it's a big clunky key with a cute little heart in the middle of it. And I like this necklace. It's not really my style. I think I can get maybe $3 out of this though. Which will easily put me in the profit for this. Um haul because I only spent two dollars on all of this but this is the reason I bought the bag this particular bag there were two bags and this next necklace is the reason I bought the other bag and the only reason I bought it is because this was purple I had no idea that this was going to be vintage but it is this is a vintage necklace and I was so happy to um to find it you can see the maker's mark right here it's a Coro c-o-r-o a coro necklace and at first i thought it was broken because you see this side has one of these little 
loopy things here, but this side does not have one of those loopy things. I thought it was broken, but I looked up pictures and I could probably get 20 to $30 for this necklace if I wanted to sell it. I'm just gonna put it in my vintage jewelry stash because I love vintage jewelry. This is really well made for costume jewelry and it's just so pretty. I'm really happy that I got that one. And then the other day, I went to a church sale and I rummaged through the jewelry, didn't really see much. Um, however, there was a pair of earrings that absolutely shocked me, absolutely shocked me. Now, before I show you these earrings, you gotta know, I know that these are hideously ugly, I know, but I just fell in love with them. So here they are. Uh, the earring back fell off of this one, I'll have to glue it back on, no problem. And there is a really interesting story I have about these earrings. So on Memorial Day weekend, I went yard sailing and I didn't buy a single thing. Now, I went to this antique store and looked around because people were selling things out of their storage units. That bird is going to drive me nuts. Shut up. Is that a crow? Ugh, shut up. So, the, the antique store had a bunch of people selling things out of their storage units. And there was this one place, I think it was a house actually. Yeah, it was a house that was having a yard sale right across the street. And they had a ton of vintage jewelry. It was beautiful but the prices were too high. If I'm scoring vintage jewelry, I'm only paying a few bucks per piece. I'm not paying five, 10, 15, 20 dollars for vintage jewelry. I'm, it's just not gonna happen because most of it's costume, it's not gonna be worth anything. So I don't wanna spend too much money. And these earrings, these same exact earrings were there and I fell in love with them. I just thought they were the coolest looking things. They're really lightweight. They're not heavy at all. They look like they're made out of clay or something. I have no idea what this material is, but they're really lightweight and I didn't buy them. I left them there. I didn't buy a single thing on Memorial Day weekend at any yard sale. And um, I, I looked through the jewelry at the church sale and I didn't see anything and then I remembered that I didn't look at the end of the table because that's where my daughter was standing and I was kind of in the middle looking at things so there are these two plastic little trays like tackle boxes type things and I picked one up looked through it there's some vintage stuff in there but nothing I liked and then I moved it to the side and I looked inside of the second one and immediately I saw these earrings and I about crapped my pants because they're the same exact earrings. Like, there's no way that there's two of these types of earrings in the same town. There's just no way. Plus, this one was broken. This top part of it came off and I had to re-loop it back on. And it was the same way at the other sale. So obviously I snatched them up and I had to buy them. And I showed my husband these and these are so ugly. Um, I thought for sure he would vomit upon seeing these, but he's like, okay, those are ugly. I'm like, I know, but I love them, and I promised him I would never wear them in public or around him, so I wouldn't embarrass him. But they're just so funky and different, and I just really liked them. And now I own them, and I love them. And they're not too heavy to wear either, so, I mean, I'd wear them in public, maybe just not around my husband. I just think they're really neat and I was shocked that I saw them again. I thought I'd never see these again and I thought about them a lot. I'm like, man, I really should have bought those earrings. Wow, that was like a three minute rant on just one pair of earrings. I apologize. Next up, I have this beautiful vintage necklace and you can see all of the stones and all of the little pearl cabochons are intact. And these are Aurora Borealis stones, so people really like to collect that type of jewelry that is vintage. And I know this is vintage because the clasp is just a little hook. There's no maker's mark on it, which bums me out. Now, I was shocked to find this because this was not with the jewelry section. This church sale is very organized and everything has its own, own little section. And this was in like the toy section for kids. It was mixed in with a bunch of like Mardi Gras plastic beads and a bunch of other stuff. And I'm so glad I went through it because there's a lot of really neat stuff in there. And there's no maker's mark and the gold tone is kind of worn off of this part of the chain.
but again it's vintage it's funky it's gaudy and this is just the stuff that i really like to collect this bracelet was also in that bin of like the mardi gras beads and stuff and since this has a safety chain i mean it's broken but it does have a safety chain on it it made me think it could be worth something um usually safety chains are put on like real gold i don't think this is real gold but it isn't magnetic so it might be like gold plated silver um it's not marked um whether it's silver or not but i was able to make out half of the maker's mark which is right here and i couldn't make out the whole thing but i did make out the word davis and co i might be holding this upside down yes i am Right there you can see it says Davis & Co. And I couldn't make out the other part, but I figured that was enough to be able to search up the uh, maker's mark. And I did. It's I think it's called White, Whiting & Davis Co. Whiting. And I could probably resell this for $15 to $30. It's not, I couldn't find the same exact one online, but I found a lot from this company. And some of it's really expensive. And some of it is just kind of costume jewelry, you know. But this one is kind of plain compared to the other ones. The ones online had like floral engravings in it and stuff like that. But, And I know I don't like gold jewelry, but just because I saw the word Davis Co. I figured, and it has a safety chain, I figured I would try, um, try my luck with it. And I don't think I'm going to sell this one. I think I'm going to keep it uh, in my collection. So... If I wanted to sell it, I could get maybe $15 to $30 out of it, but I really don't want to sell it. And I just can't do a yard sale without buying something from Avon, you know. And of course I pick the ugliest possible thing that I can find. This is a Avon, I think this is milk glass. Milk glass, I have to enunciate when I speak. Um, and this is compote cologne in the scent of moon wind i believe this is from 1972 i think and it's just weird it's like a fruit bowl and there's grapes on the side there's like little men around the edge here with like a uh, bow and arrow little archery dudes and then these i can't figure out what these are i think they look like tomatoes but then some of them look kind of like eggplants like this one like tomatoes eggplants and grapes what but there is a little bit of damage on the cap there's some chipping of the coating from it i don't know this is a big piece too i usually like buying smaller pieces because i have nowhere to store this i have no idea why i bought this but here it is i bought it i might do an avon collection video in the future so thanks for watching please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos let me know which piece is your favorite do you love the ugly earrings as much as I do, or do you prefer the hematite key heart necklace? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.